How to answer behavioral interview questions. Hi, uh, thanks for coming in. So, can you tell me about a time when you had to address an angry customer? What was the problem and how did you resolve it? I know these questions are terrifying, but here's a template you can use to nail them every time. Right when you hear a question that starts with, describe a time, tell me a situation, can you walk me through, give me an example. That's when it should ring a bell that you're being asked a behavioral question and that you need to use this STAR method. STAR stands for Situation, Task, Action, and Result. STAR is basically a way for you to answer tricky questions in a more structured way. It helps you to tell a story in four steps. The first step is the situation. Describe the situation you were involved in. The second step is the task. What did you have to do? Third is the action you took. And fourth is the result of those actions. When do you use this formula? Typically, your STAR formula shines bright when you're asked a behavioral interview question. Behavioral questions are questions asked to show your behavior in the past as indicators of future performance. So, this is where you can use your storytelling skills to stand out from the competition. That means crafting stories, true stories, okay, that show you at your best, that prove you're qualified for the job, and demonstrate you would be a pleasure to work with. Hi, uh, thanks for coming in. So, can you tell me about a time when you had to address an angry customer? What was the problem and how did you resolve it? Okay, so uh, last year I worked in a telco customer care center of a company with many service complaints. For example, network outages, billing disputes, and a lot more. As a customer care representative, I had to navigate angry customer experiences more times than I would have liked. To cope, I took the stance that people who are upset want to be heard and respected. I would listen, empathize, and reassure the customer that I was there to support them and resolve the matter. If I needed to troubleshoot or check on an order, I would explain what I was doing and when they would hear back. I'm proud to say that I successfully turned more detractors into promoters than anyone else in that organization. So there you have it folks, your answers really don't need to be any longer than that. Keep them brief, keep them snappy. And now that you know what you need to do to ace this interview question, it's time for you to outline your own bullet points for each of the four parts and start practicing. And if you find this video useful, please make sure to subscribe like the video, comment if you will, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye!